So here I am, we're past the loop. Tina and I came up to Colorado to try this again. Um, Tina's not here. Why? Guess you have to watch and see. You ready to roll? Yeah. <laughs> Third time's the charm? I hope so. I hope so too. The West Maroon Trail head. It is July. It's freezing up here. I'm ready for the sun to come out. It's a couple of flowers, huh? Oh my God, it's insane. It is crazy. I've never seen flowers like this. It's beautiful. What do you think? Oh my God, this is so beautiful. What do you think? Goes up a lot. <laughs> Not sure what I think about that yet. got to the split off, continue on four pass loop to Frigidaire Pass or to go to Hasley Pass. Tina did Hasley last year. We're skipping it. We're going to go to Frigidaire. That's the traditional route. And she's having a rough day. It happens sometimes. This is not awesome. All right, explain what's going on. I just, I don't know. My body is not right. Like, even the slightest incline and my legs are on fire and I'm just completely out of breath. And I was not struggling like this last time. And it's frustrating because, yeah, yeah I, it's, I'm trying not to let it get in my head. Like I'm trying to use Diamox and I don't know if maybe that's dropped my blood pressure too low. So I'm not getting enough oxygen to my muscles. I don't know what the deal is or we did the Via Ferrata, so maybe... Maybe just tired. Just tired? Or every once in a while you have those shitty days where... Yeah. You're not feeling it, and I'm hoping that's all this is. It happens. Yep. We'll get there. We'll get somewhere. We'll get somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> After you. This is what it looks like when... Tina realizes she can't do it, and Jerry's gonna do it anyway. So we're having to repack everything for a one-man show. Actually got everything in there. It is a very packed pack. All right, you going up to the pass or you? Do you want me to, or I think I'm gonna slow you down too much. <laughs> no, I'm probably just gonna go. Do you want me to go to the pass? I'll go to the pass. I actually will leave this pack here. I'll hide it in the bushes and, you know, put a pin on my Gaia. I just want to get up there though. So you want me to <laughs> go? So, yeah. I'm not. So, I'm, I'm, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not pleased with this situation. change of plans and I'm ready to just like Rage knock like. it the f out. Yeah, I know. All right. I'm out of here. Be safe. All right, you be safe. I'm more worried about you than me. Well, I got to just climb all these mountains. See you later. All right, I love you. Love you too. <laughs> I can't help, I can't help somebody with a backpack. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, I'll see you going out. You'll see me going up. See her down there. I wish she was up here. She's down there. <sighs> get you, Maroon Bells. I'm gonna get you this time. <sighs> I can only explain the last mile or two of hiking is rage hiking. Happy we were able to adapt to circumstances. I'm glad to be doing the loop. I'm not happy that Tina's not here. She really, I know she wanted to do this and I wanted her here, but I gotta get it this time. Coming clockwise from Crested Butte. It was pretty steep, but just at the end, otherwise not bad. I get to the other side going down and man, this is steep. You know, I never hear anything about that. I always hear frigid air is easy. Trail rider sucks. Trail riders tomorrow. If this side going down is considered easy going up, I'm not looking forward to seeing how much going up trail rider sucks going counterclockwise. <sighs> Saw my first marmot though. He's gone. Let's get to camp. <sighs> Gotta decide where to camp. Tons of campsites down here, waterfall, water source, or I could try to climb up to a little lake on the way to Trail Rider Pass, which would make tomorrow better. Once I start that ascent, I'm committed, I think. Let's see how I feel when I get there, I guess. So if I look greasy, it's because my face is covered, my body is covered in bug repellent. There are so many mosquitoes down here. You'll probably see them flying everywhere. But they're not landing on me. That's what bug repellent's for. I never use it. It's that bad, I'm using it. Camp set up and make something to eat, hang out for a bit, and then go to bed. Let's try day two and pass two tomorrow. Lessons learned, don't underestimate altitude. There were a lot of comments on Tina's video about how easy it is. Well, you know, it's easy if you're used to it. You get altitude sickness, it sucks. Not sure if that's what happened to her today, but um, I don't know. That's why I'm not a mile and a half up that way. I'm not going to sleep at uh, 11,500 feet and risk uh, getting an altitude sickness. But yeah, 
tomorrow's gonna suck. Sitting here struggling to get this bear vault open. I'm not smarter than a bear. I'm gonna have coffee. Force myself to eat something and up the hill. This isn't the trip I expected. I wanted Tina to be here and both of us to do this together. It makes it a little bit less enjoyable. Camp especially, I'm not prepared. I could sit there silent, silently with my thoughts, but the mosquitoes are so bad, I sit in the tent. So it's just kind of boring. So maybe I can just hike it in three days, you know, get to see the whole thing. My problem there is I'd have to get 15 miles today and the 15 miles isn't a problem. Problem is I have two passes in that 15 miles and the next one that I'm going to do is trail rider. It's supposed to be the hardest one of the four. That's like 2,900 feet to get up it and down to, I believe it's Snowmass Lake. Then the next pass is Buckskin, which is like another 2,500 feet of elevation gain and loss and then like another eight miles. So you put the two together, it's over 5,000 feet of elevation gain. And once I start up out of Snowmass Lake, I'm committed because there's no place to camp. So I haven't done 5,500 vertical feet in a single day, maybe twice, maybe once. And I don't know, man. <laughs> doesn't sound fun. I don't know if my body can do it. So uh, if I get started and then towards that second pass and can't make it, I don't know what to do. I have to turn around and go back down. That'd be heartbreaking. I don't know. I'm going to go to Snowmass Lake and see how I feel. If I want to go for it, I'm going to go for it. If not, I'm going to have a really long afternoon of sitting at Snowmass Lake. Hopefully the bugs aren't bad and I can hang out outside the tent. Because that wouldn't be bad. Sitting in the tent for about six hours waiting to go to bed sounds miserable. Let's see what happens. I forgot to roll the rain fly up with it. I do that way too often. That and packing the backpack and then going, oh, there's my water bladder. I can just do all this again. Rookie mistakes, 101. Wish I could express how steep this is. I don't want to go up it. I wouldn't want to go down it. This isn't even the hard part of the pass. <laughs> Gonna be a good time. I've been in your waters Been knocking at your door I know one thing There was a way to capture what this really looks like being here. You just can't. I've never been so close before First look at Trail Rider Pass. Don't see what the big deal is. It's another mountain to climb. Thought about camping here last night. Would have helped today be easier. So I decided not to. But I'm here now. Don't know if it's the right decision or not, but it's beautiful up here. Don't think I would have enjoyed sitting and staring at Trail Rider Pass the whole night thinking I gotta climb that tomorrow. Brutal. 
<laughs> Woo! That was like climbing a 1,500 foot tall ladder. Tina, I have no idea how you did this with altitude sickness. It is beautiful up here. Time to get down there. Trails down here, Snowmass Lake, really confusing. It's like, oh good, there's a sign that'll show me where the trail is. Here's the sign I found. Unhelpful. You know, falling in the water is one thing. Falling in the water with your really nice camera whole other layer, man. Yeah, I messed this up. I wanted to go right here, right there. I didn't see any signs here. I'm going down by the lake. And I'm coming up and around back. It should work, but it adds a little bit of miles. I didn't see the signs down at the campsite. I'm sure there was something very apparent. I just missed it, but almost back on track. I was old, I was young, I was sitting in the sun. Back on track. I was tired of the run, I was done. Life was great, life was hard, and away and all. This meadow is beautiful, mountains all around it. I think I see buckskin up there. Not super psyched about how high up it looks. I'm just not gonna think about it. Really nice campsites all around this meadow. Options galore. I have no options between now and Crater Lake, except for here, and I'm getting over that pass. Let's get it done. I was cold, I was bold. I had fragmented a bit off more than I can chew. Two passes in one day. <sighs> really don't have a choice now. I'm wasted. Probably a mile away, a thousand feet up to get the buckskin. If I could get up that and down to Crater Lake, I could have Tina take me out at Aspen. <sighs> that sounds really good right now. Really good. And the moon keeps on changing. All I want to do is lie down in bed. I'm literally going 20 feet, no, 20 steps and stopping. It's so hot. It's right there, but it's so far away. Oh my God, I could be out of this thing. About three miles. Three passes is all right, right? Roombell three pass crescent. Is <laughs> the hair? Good. I just have to go like right there. I 
and then down the other side. How are you? Are you blue? I can sense the sadness in you. Don't you worry. Every storm passes on. Not a lot of talking after Crater Lake. All the campsites were full. It was getting dark. I was really tired. So yeah, I had to walk like another two miles. Oh, I'm so close to being out. Aspen is right, right down there. Two more miles away now. Good night. All right, it's day three. I can go a couple miles downhill. He picked up an Aspen. There's no way I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna walk six and a half miles that way, hit that last pass, and Tina can pick me up at Crested Butte. Put this one in the books, it's done. Some of the most amazing, beautiful scenery I've, I've ever, ever encountered. It's not really, I kind of didn't want to do the solo. I wanted to do this with Tina. And that's, I guess that's why I barreled through two passes yesterday. Can't recommend it enough. But be flexible because plans change. Hopefully it doesn't rain and she can't get to the trailhead at Crested Butte. That would suck. Cross that precarious, best word for it. But I made it, I'm dry. coming down the last pass it's been something wish you could have been here look forward to seeing you and I'm not gonna lie so look forward to a shower and some Mexican food and some beers
But I mean, I miss you. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Look who I just found. Where you been? Where did I you am go? dead. Hello. I found him. What a champ. He did the whole thing. I take my back. Okay. <laughs> I will. I want you back here with me. We never should have said it's I'm not going to do the normal take my shoes off, put my flip flops on, montage, I'm done. I need a shower and I need food right now. Awesome guys. Tucson. Tucson, Arizona, man. <laughs> Tucson. Awesome. <laughs> Who would have, I'm running into people from Tucson in right? Colorado. Public service announcement. If you are on a dirt road, pretty much any road for that matter, but especially backcountry roads, and there is someone driving right behind you for miles and miles and miles, proper uh, banners and road rules is to pull over and let them pass. Some people don't know that. These switchbacks would be brutal to go up. Glad I'm going down them. Of course, there's just identical ones on the other side. I gotta go up. Whew. Jumped in that river. Best way I can describe the experience is uh, snow fed. These mosquitoes are no joke. Take a break. You have to do what I call the mosquito dance if you're in Maroon Bells in the summer. It goes something like this. There's actually a mosquito on the GoPro right now. Hope there's a campsite at Crater Lake. Hope there's a campsite at Crater Lake. I can't say Crater Lake. Hope there's a campsite at uh, Crater Lake. Can't say it. Hope there's a campsite at that lake down there. I don't really need that, that sick, bro. I don't really need that, so sick, bro. I don't really need that, that.